Rafrag is amazing, but it requires OpenAI API key and that is a disadvantage for a lot of people. What amazing it is gonna be in this video is that hereafter you need not use an OpenAI API key because in this video I'm gonna show you all how you can use Graphrag with the help of Grok API key itself and for embeddings we'll be using LM Studio because in an RAG pipeline there are two main components one is retrieval and then generation for generation you have your LLMs and for retrieval you have an embedding model which is gonna be your vector store for retrieval we'll be using LM studio for which you should install LM studio you can download an installer file and for Grok make sure you have an account these are the prerequisites for the video now let's start with the video these are the commands I'll provide the command.txt file probably as a comment in the description here if you see there is there is an output which is obtained without the help of OpenAI API key I don't have an OpenAI API key if I'm gonna run this question it will be giving me an answer with the help of llama 370 billion which is the LLM I have used in this video so for this the first thing would be for you to go on to your LM studio and download a model like how I'm going to do right now once you install LM studio you will have an interface like this where I want you all to search nomic embed here which will give you options like this nomic embed text v1.5 uh, q2k q3k and so on and so forth here um I used Q4 quantization, Q4 zero because that is pretty less in size. But if you have a very, um, you know, less GPU or even no GPU and you want to run CPU, right? I would suggest you all to go to Q2K as well. But these are just for, you know, uh, learning purposes, right? So even without opening an API key, you should be able to test what is going on behind that's why I'm uh, saying this okay so you can take this model as well all you need to do is just click download okay and once you have downloaded it if you see here at the last you will have an option called local server in which there will be an option here embedding model settings right now I have only the Q40 model but if you install on any other model you will have those embedding models here just click it and it will take some time to load okay and what I need you all to do is here there will be an option to start server right now the server is running for me but for you it is not running okay so click start server I hope you all have done it right now the thing you need to notice is the OpenAI compatible URL is this one the local host 1234 slash v1 this is a very important URL for us okay just keep this in mind now you should go on to your Grok API key. All right. So let's go on and get our Grok API key. So here you have your Grok API playground in which you need to go to your API keys and just click create API key and just type some value, click submit and copy this API key. All right. I already have an API key for me. So I won't need an API key, but you need it. Okay. So once these are done, your prerequisite for you know to start the project is ready now let's start with the project so you'll have your vs code uh, folder open all you need to do is just run these commands which I'm gonna show right now okay you have commands for txt like I said it will be available in your comment section okay you will be executing one by one first you need to do this one pip install graph rag which I run and for me I already have those okay so for me I won't have any problem so the next one would be for me to create my okay um what you can do is just create it here itself R A G test it is not correct actually I think it's my windows issue okay so what you can do is you can just do this one you can run everything inside here actually okay and don't worry it will work right so now I'm gonna run the same command now you can see right uh, that is no windows probably one of the shittiest OS can't do anything about that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it here okay this is a book of uh, Charles Dickens okay written by Charles Dickens on Christmas Carol okay I'm gonna shorten this up a lot okay I'll 
show you once this is shortened. So since we are using local embedding model, it will take a lot of time to, you know, encode 3000 lines. So all I did was, you know, just cut a lot of content. Still, it has a lot of content, you know, 300 lines is there. That is still a big one. Okay. So once that is done, you will start with initialization of your graph rag project by running this command. Okay. Python hyphen m graph rag dot index hyphen hyphen initialize the root directory is this direct. So it will take a few minutes and it is done. Okay. Now what you need to do is in dot env just add an another variable known as grok underscore api key and provide your api key here okay your api key should be provided in this empty string you should fill it okay so once that is done go into your settings.yaml all right so the first one is change your model to whatever model which was provided in grok okay so for example it was mixtral hyphen 8 x 7 b hyphen 3 2 seven six eight okay so here um, you need to do a lot of changes actually because of uh, you know grok api is free and there are some restrictions first thing is max token just change it to 3000 and you need to change the api base so the api should be openai compatible api all right so already we saw the openai compatible api for uh, api url which is localhost 1234 slash v1 which we saw in lm studio that is for embeddings okay so similarly there is an openai compatible url for grok as well which is https double slash api.com slash grok api.grok.com slash v1 Okay, this is OpenAI compatible URL. Okay, now you need to do a lot of other comments as well. So this one, tokens per minute, requests per minute, probably even retry, uh, read be changed. Okay, retries to three and tokens per minute to 3000 and requests per minute to 10. Okay, so these changes are very important. That is for your, um, you know, uh, LLM. So here, you need to do another thing which is to change your API key which is G R O Q Q underscore A B I underscore key okay so you need to uh, provide your API key as well here and then you need to come on to your embedding so here this is very crucial okay for this model what you need to do is let me show you okay go into your LM studio okay if you go into realm studio you are seeing a name here right nomic ai and uh, so on and so forth from here copy this till here okay copy it and go into your vs code again here in the model name just paste it first okay and remove this resolve and main alone from here and that is how you need to provide your model name okay for api base we already saw it is going to be localhost 1234 slash v1 okay you can just copy that and paste it here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy that and i'm gonna paste it here okay so um and other than that if you want to reduce right the chunk size you can reduce it here it is 300 tokens and chunk overlap is 100 you can change those the input file is type is text there is csv also allowed but right now we are focusing on text okay so here we have said that the input directory is going to be input and then all the files which are under the name .txt is our input okay so these are the configuration which you need to change and after that you need to run this command which is your indexing command okay this will index your documents but um the bad thing is since you are running it in your local it will take a lot of you know uh, time i'll see you after that it took me around 20 minutes actually um finally you have your things which is ready here the similar kind of folder structure what openai produces is already there here finally your document is ready for answering some questions and here is the command which you should use for asking the question for example this is a global search question which i'm asking about what are the top themes in the story and it should probably say the answer but the bad part was when I was testing, it didn't work for local search actually because it gave me some error like uh, there is a zero division error. Probably, um, you know, 
there is some problem there I'm not sure okay but yeah here you can see it is working right global search top themes in the story it is working okay and that is how you can run graph rag in your system without using open AI just with the help of croc so yeah guys I hope you like this video because there have been lots of people who have been asking me wasn't you usually don't make videos by using open AI because we all are not able to use it but this time you did we are not able to use like that people were asking so I finally uh, made a video with croc so yeah guys just hit the like button to encourage uh, me and also it will help people to uh, understand that okay uh, it is possible to you know run without using uh, open AI as well so yeah guys i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button share it with your friends if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon i'll see you all in the next video until then cheers